All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Skagway vlog. Here's Logan. Hey. <laughs> Him and I are doing another hike today. Uh, we are going up to a really interesting little black tower. And I, I've been looking at this tower all season. You can see it from the highway where we do our tours. We've been trying to figure out what this is all season. We've asked around, nobody knows. Uh, nobody's ever been up there. And um, the only thing I could find online was like some picture of someone else that uh, took it from the valley that said like, you know, alien invasion kind of thing. So <laughs> we're thinking maybe the aliens have set up a little post on the top of this mountain. It's finally time. We're climbing up there. We're gonna see what the heck is going on. This road doesn't really go that far. We're gonna have to kind of bushwhack up through that actual mountain there. We have the topo map. We're gonna try and just go for it. See how high we can get. Go see what that freaking thing is. All right, good news, I think we've escaped the tree line. We should be up here in the clearing. This is pretty stunning, check this out. Beautiful. There's Fraser down there. Nice. Gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Right there, that's the highway we drive every day. You don't really get to see the valley from this perspective, so this is really, really nice. More moose prints, one right there. Oh yeah, it must have been going up there. That's cool. There's a glacier. Whoa. What do you see? All right. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't decide to walk up here. I feel like we would have gotten stuck for sure somewhere. Yeah. Check it out. This is man-made. Hey, it goes up there. Someone's been here. Interesting. Electric, you think? Ground wire? Yeah. What is going on here? Likewise, Logan. What do you think, alien invasion? Government conspiracy? Government conspiracy, we're about to find out. What These is happening? Pesky Canadians are up to. <laughs> what are the Canadians hiding from us above Fraser? There's another glacier we didn't even see before. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> what do you find here, Logan? I really don't know. But it was made in Canada by union labor. Whoever's in here, got locked up pretty tight. Don't want you getting in, huh? No. Big locks on there. They do not. What is this? A missile launcher. I really don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. There it is. Wow. What the heck is that thing? Not too far away now. It's hard to tell on camera, but you can see there's like a whole building at the base of the tower, and there's a huge helicopter pad. So whatever it is, I think we can get right up to it. Yeah, no fences. What I can see. Do aliens live in the house? I guess we'll find out. Just about there. Time for some theories. 
What do you think that is, Logan? It's uh, could be an early warning system for ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, or uh, Canada's secretly uh, poisoning this river right here that flows uh, all the way down to Fraser. You never know. Canada secretly is about to take over the world. We're about to crack that case. Logan nicked his finger on one of those little uh, experimental <laughs> wires. Experimental wires, he's gonna mutate. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Maybe it's aliens, maybe aliens live there. They're watching over. Maybe that is a mirage, they've been tricking us. And it's not really what we think it is. It's a hologram. It's a hologram, when we get there, it's gonna turn into something else. I don't know, there's only one way to find out. We are just about there. See that tower up through the clouds there? We still have no idea what the heck it is. But hopefully we'll be able to find out when we get there. So we're looking a little closer here. It looks like the tower is more of like a square shape than like a rounded off. From the bottom it looks like a rounded off thing though. Yeah, the prism at the top. Unfortunately though, there is a security camera on that building. So someone might be watching us. All right, we made it. We made it up. We're here. Still don't know what it is. Hmm. Is it locked? It's locked. From the inside, huh? From the inside. Wow, it's very locked. Warning, this building is equipped with a remote electronic alarm system. Persons entering or leaving this building must properly identify themselves to the network control center. Failure to identify will result in the RCMP being notified. You think someone's watching us? Well, it sure looks like it. Way below, I guess. Ventilation shaft, for some reason. A lot of them on this side. I mean, three, three big ones, a small one. Got fuel tanks. Two different fuel tanks. It's a lot of fuel. All doors seem to be locked. No way of entry without notifying the authorities. This is like plastic. Metal. No idea what this is. Well, we're here. It's very cold up here. Very, very windy. Time for some cold. lunch. We're kind of hiding from the wind here. I wish we had some answers though. There's just nothing. There's no indication of anything, like what this is or you know, what's going on, but no idea. whoever's in charge here most likely knows we're here. Huh? I would say so. So maybe they will uh, send up a helicopter and say, hey, get the heck out of here. But it is indeed a black tower. <laughs> Our theory is correct. When's the last time you had a lunch of all, Logan? <laughs> um, elementary school, probably. I think me too. Mm. These things are great.
right, it's extremely windy up here. The cloud ceiling has gone down dramatically and it's very cold, a lot colder than it was when we got here. So we, I mean, we, we looked at everything. We searched out the whole area. We tried to see if there was any evidence of like what the heck that thing was. We got nothing, nothing, nothing. We tried to wait out the clouds, but we're just not prepared for this heavy of weather that's coming in here. So, essentially, we're throwing in the towel and going down. Let it be known, though, that we did try everything we could do, aside from you know what we would do that would get us arrested. Breaking in. You know, breaking in to figure out what the heck that thing was. So far nobody knows, that we've talked to at least. Well, I guess I can leave it open to anybody. You know, if, if you have a theory as to what the heck that thing is, or maybe you actually know what it might be, let's start a discussion down in the comments. Let's hear it, you know? What is that thing? Is there anybody out there wiser than us that knows what's going on up here? In Fraser, British Columbia, Canada. I don't know, man. We're not gonna freeze to death up here today. I found myself a mitten. I'll wear it for five minutes on this hand. You can wear it, you know, five minutes for your hand, then we switch back, so everyone, uh, everyone's <laughs> hands stay warm. But we're gonna be okay. Perfect, we're gonna, we're gonna okay. survive. Thank God. We've come down pretty much all the way from the top here. Um, we followed the line, these like cables, all the way down. Yeah, we just kind of went straight down the side. These cables seem to lead right over to pretty close to the customs office. Um, here's the thing, we, we hiked all the way up there, we looked around, we did everything we could, and the only thing we could find was a sign that says, don't come in here or, or we will call the cops, kind of thing. So. Um, we decided, we're not giving up. We're gonna see, we're gonna try one more thing to see if we can figure out what these are. See that yellow building right there? That's Canadian Customs. We're thinking we might just barge in and uh, ask them, ask them if they know what it is. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. All right, we're just about to exit the brush here. We followed these wires all the way down from the peak. They seem to be taking us right there to this building. So the cables ended there, they went underground, and we think they come out right here and go up to this. But this looks like it hasn't been used in years. And it's not used now. And there's this building here. You go up these stairs. And there's a sign just like the one we saw up top. But there is some noise coming from this room. Same ventilation shafts we were seeing on the building up top. Same diesel tanks, more barbed wire, of course. And we still don't have any answers. Guess we'll go ask Customs. All right, I took the mic off the camera because we're about to barge into Customs and ask them if they know anything. Um, I'm gonna put the lens cap on, so you know it looks like I'm not recording, but I'm gonna keep it rolling just so I can record some audio, so. Let's go. It was weird because there wasn't any like sign or anything, but there was a security camera up there. 
Oh yeah. Uh, off the side, yeah. Brand new with yeah. the yeah. Samsung. Nice camera. Yeah. Watching you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like if anyone knows around here, it's probably custom. And if they don't know, then you look dead here. Okay, so get about a thing. We're on the radar now, though, guys. Watch out. Oh yeah, yeah. Watch your online querying now a little bit. Fair enough. Well, thank you guys for your help. Yeah. Getting a scan these or anything, or getting a back? Wait, did you give them the microchip? Microchip. Cool. Thanks, right on. Thanks so much. Yep. See you later. See you guys. That was chill. No passport scan. But uh, they didn't know. What does that mean, Logan? It means he was a missile silo. Missile silo. The world will never know. Thanks for watching. When I'm out here in the